Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Xenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. Everyone here... ...training, working together. If it weren't for Varl... ...none of it would have happened. You know... ...there was this one night... ...right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So... He asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there. Just... looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? <laughs> 